So today is cruise day, and I will be taking one of the cheapest cruises on Earth on board the Carnival Radiance. This vessel was launched in the year 2000, originally named the Carnival Victory. It was the third ship in Carnival's Destiny class. It cost $410 million to build, and at the time of its construction, it was one of the largest cruise ships in the entire world. In 2021, this ship underwent a very aggressive $200 million refurbishment. From that point on forward, it was now named the Carnival Radiance, part of Carnival's Sunshine class. The ship has 13 decks and holds 2,800 passengers. I technically paid about $100 for this cruise. However, once we get on board, I'll give you more additional information like a full pricing breakdown. I'll show you my room, the amenities this vessel has to offer, all while we, of course, explore the beautiful Carnival Radiance. By the way, this is my first time taking a cruise out of California, Long Beach to be specific. I'm also going to destinations that I've never been to before, so I'm really excited. I've already checked in my bag because it's not directly next to the terminal. However, it's not far either, but now we can just go and board the ship. I didn't have my boarding pass. However, there is a nice lady over there that was able to print this little ticket out for me so that I can get inside. I know I'm being irresponsible. My Airbnb didn't have a printer. However, we're good to go now. Passport is ready, so we just head inside the terminal. Here is your first and last warning. This is a drug-free zone, even in California. If you get caught trying to board any type of illegal substance or contraband, not only will you be denied boarding, you will potentially be arrested. So yeah, you might want to avoid that. Before we enter the terminal here, they do have a little shop off to the side in case you want to buy some last minute items to make your experience a little bit more stylish. Right here at the front of the terminal, you can see they have different lines for the arrival appointments, 10 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11, 11 through 11.30. However, I've been informed that every lane is open right now. They got the dogs out. How's it going? And here we are, Long Beach Terminal. We just made it through security, time to board. Side note here, as we begin to board, I gotta admit, I'm surprised. There are three drug sniffing dogs here in the terminal. Carnival is really starting to crack down on this drug free zone thing. We had one final check of our boarding pass and now the moment we've all been waiting for. How you doing? <laughs> oh, don't be camera shy, you look amazing. And we are officially on board. The Carnival Radiance. Here we are, right into the newly designed atrium. We do have a lot of exploring to do. However, first things first, we're gonna check out our cabin. Deck two, and it looks like we are not going to check out my cabin. This is how you know it's been a while since I've been on a cruise ship. The rooms not being ready is completely normal for any particular sailing if you get on early. They wanna give the room stewards as much time as possible to make sure everything is spick and span. That way you have the best experience possible. So in the meantime, we're gonna go with plan B and just do some exploring. Where should we take a journey to first? Give a little time to kill here. I think we're gonna go ahead and go straight up to one of the most popular places on board any particular cruise ship, the Lido deck, AKA the pool on deck nine. Up we go. Oh, very simple design, yet very functional for the elevator. Not bad, not bad. We have made it, the Lido deck. Not a bad setup at all. This ship reminds me a lot of the Carnival Freedom and Conquest. Down here on the floor, we have the pool, we have the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, and directly across from that bar, we have the Red Frog Rum Bar. For food, we do have one of my favorite spots to eat at, the Guy's Burger Joint. However, on this cruise, I'm not gonna indulge too much, so I don't end up gaining 20 pounds over the next week. Across from Guy's Burger Joint, we do have the Blue Iguana Cantina. The breakfast burritos here are immaculate. However, the lunch burritos are pretty good too. As we make our way to the buffet inside, we do have the deli. This location, they have really amazing sandwiches, but this one, as well as Guy's Burger Joint and the Blue Iguana Cantina, all the food is free. Let's see what we have on tap here at the buffet. We do have roast beef, jambalaya, mac and cheese, crusted fish, romana? Ooh, that looks really good. We have ribs and we have peppered steak. Now for me personally, one thing I don't do whenever I arrive on board a cruise ship is go straight to the buffet because typically everyone's trying to eat right now. We've made our way upstairs outside into the back of the ship. And as you can see right below me, we do have a pool, some hot tubs, and then directly next to me, we have the Pig and Anchor Barbecue Smokehouse. Now they do have some weird hours. I believe they're usually open from like 11 to two in the afternoon. However, the food here is pretty good. Since we're already going this way, we'll keep working our way up. Looks like they have a ropes course up here in the back or after the ship, a foosball table and a basketball court. Look at that iconic whale tail funnel. As you can see directly below me, there is plenty of space for lounging, sunbathing, hanging out, whatever you want to do. And I believe on the opposite side of this is the smoking area. Yep, I was right. 
it is the smoking area. Over on that area over there, as you can see, there are two water slides. There's also the adult-only area called the Serenity Deck. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, inside in the front part of the ship, we have Camp Ocean. This is the daycare area for ages 6 to 8. Now, we just also got the call. Our rooms are ready, so we're going to go ahead and go downstairs. And once we get there, I'll tell you the pricing and all the things that you guys are curious about for this particular cruise. We left, or... Right. Bag is not here yet, unfortunately, but we made it. And in we go. Ta-da! Give you a brief scan of the room. Very simple but functional. Unfortunately, there are no outlets by the bed here, which I am a little surprised since this ship is newly refurbished, but there are some outlets here, and we have some USB ports over here. Plenty of closet space and a mini bar. Nope, refrigerator. Let's check out the bathroom, the porcelain throne. Oh, look at that. This guy gets like stuck here at the top for some reason. Anyway, let's get a little extra pool. Not bad, functional. I don't think this whole area got refurbished at all, really. I remember these on the older ships, this little blue countertop here. And of course the dreaded shower curtains. You guys don't know, I hate shower curtains. It sticks to your leg and other people's skin and dirt, it's disgusting. I'm joking, obviously it's not a huge deal, just not my personal preference. Pretty roomy in here. Now do keep in mind, I'm not a very large guy. I'm five, six and a half, 160 pounds of pure muscle, but still. Not bad. The cost of this cheap four-day cruise on board the Carnival Radiant out of Long Beach, California initially came out to $314 when you include the port fees and taxes. However, with this booking, I was also given $200 of onboard credit to spend, which in my opinion brings my total back down to $114. I also did tack on an add-on for this cruise, premium Wi-Fi. I use it to work at $19 a day. The total for that came out to $75 for the entire cruise. There was also an option to buy the alcohol package, Carnival's Cheers package in which you can get 10 alcoholic beverages per day. The price of that was $70 per day, and the total for the entire cruise is $280. However, I'm trying to cut back a little bit on the alcohol, so I didn't purchase it for this cruise. It is now time for the official start of the cruise. We have to go upstairs to the Lido deck, where the pool is, for the sail away party. And then after, we'll do some more exploring of the ship, because honestly, we haven't seen much yet. One thing I really like about the sail away parties is that, in my opinion, it is without a doubt the best way to get a real gauge of the vibe that's going to be on board during this cruise. The Lido deck in general is just a good place to get a range of what the demographic is, what the environment is like, and well, to do some people watching. It's a good place to be. Hello, boy! It's time to start your sell away party! Jay I think it's time to start a party. <laughs> fun not a bad crowd it should be a very eventful cruise now let's go do some more exploring so now we don't have any more copyrighted music playing I can show you the atrium very beautiful area now this area was updated with the refurbishment before it was like a very tacky old green theme looks a lot more sleek now while we're here on deck five we'll take a quick peek into the casino before it opens not bad I'm going to assume like any other cruise ship whenever this place opens up it's going to be absolutely packed after the casino over here we have bonsai sushi we have my favorite bar on any carnival ship well when they have it the alchemy bar we've got the piano bar and we have the red frog pub I went down a deck and we were right on top of the limelight lounge now this area here is going to double up for not only where they have the comedy show, they're also gonna have this turn into the nightclub during the evening hours. As we head into the evening hours, I'm all showered and shiny and new. I'm a little hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and eat at one of my favorite restaurants on board Carnival Cruise Ships, the Seafood Shack. It's very addictive. And here we are. We made it. Show you guys the prices. As you can see, for seafood, pretty reasonable. Not bad at all. First up for the appetizer, we have oysters. Mm with hot sauce of course. And for the main entree we have the lobster roll. Seriously guys, it's delicious. If you ever come on board a carnival ship and they have the seafood shack, definitely try it out. Very 
because you're going to the top. That is a flotation device. A flotation device titties, I'll tell you that right now. to do it for this vlog that was all over the place. I apologize. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've made one of these kind of videos. However, make sure you guys stick around on this channel here because even though this is the end of this series, I will have a review on my main channel, The Ship Life. Make sure you subscribe to that one and this one if you haven't already. And I do have new cruise ships that I'll be sailing on in just two weeks' time. Actually, I actually have two cruise ships. So it's going to be entertaining. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy.